Okay, actually, yung problem na sinosolve natin ngayon ay two pages yan. So, may kasunod pa to. Ito yung second page. Ang required, record the transactions using special uh, journals. Number nine, return merchandise purchased from T. Arenas Company. 10,000 pesos. <clears throat> so, anong magiging entry natin dito. So, tingnan na natin yung purchases from T. Arenas. Kung ito ba ay cash purchases or purchase on account. So, yung purchases kay T. Arenas ay purchases on account. So, entry natin dito would be debit, accounts payable, credit, purchase, returns, and allowances. So, saang um, journal entry or saang, saang special journal natin ilalagay? yung um, transaction ng January number 9. So, ito ay ilalagay natin sa general journal. Walang cash receipts. Walang cash disbursements. Walang purchase on account. Wala ding um, sale on account sa transaction number 9. So, ito ay sa general journal. So, to record yung um, transaction number 9, kunin natin yung general journal natin. So, ito yung general journal. Magre-record na tayo ng transaction. January 9, 2020. Account title and explanation. Debit. Accounts payable. Tapos, lagay natin yung ating vendor, kung kanino vendor siya. Debit accounts payable, T. Arenas credit, um, purchase, returns, and allowances na 10,000 pesos. So, 10,000 Explanation. So, hindi ko na ilalagay yung explanation dito. Ang explanation dito, purchase returns to T. Arenas. Next transaction. Collected the amount due from Bandonel less discounts. So, nagbenta si entity kay Bandonel ng January 2. Nakolekta siya January 10. Lahat daw ng credit sales ay 2 over 10 and over 30. So, tingnan natin kung pumasok sa discount period. Bilangin natin yung days. Although, binanggit naman dito, less discounts. I-check na rin natin kung pasok ba sa discount period. From January 2 to January 10, ilang days yan? January 3, January 4, January 5, January 6, January 7, January 8, January 9, January 10. 8 days. So, pasok dun sa discount period. So, ang entry natin dito would be debit, cash, debit, sales, discount, credit, accounts, receivable. So, saang special journal siya? Nakatanggap tayo ng pera. Yan ay sa cash receipts journal. So, i-record na natin siya sa Cash Receipts Journal. Ayan, ito yun. Cash Receipts. So, January 10, 2020, walang collection receipt na involved. Walang binanggit. So, iwan natin as blank. Then, yung description, kung kanino galing yung pera, kay B. Bandonel. At what amount? Okay, entryhan natin to. Debit cash. Tuloy natin. 240,000 times 98%. Then yung um, sales discount. 240,000 times 2%. And yung credit sa accounts receivable. 240,000. So, 240,000 times uh, 98% yan ay 
235,200 235,200 245,000 times 2% That is 4,800 May entry na tayo So pwede na natin i-reflect sa Cash receipts Total cash na na-receive is 235,200 Debit Debit Sales discount 4,800 debit tapos tayo yung debit natin credit accounts receivable credit accounts receivable total debit must be equal sa total credit 240,000 11 January 11 purchase merchandise on account from LV Rai so, purchase on account. Ito ay purchase journal. So, balikan natin yung purchase journal. Record ulit natin. January 11, 2020. LVRI. Na? Debit purchases. 120,000. Credit accounts payable. 120,000 Next Paid T Arenas Company Less Returns and Discounts Issued Check Number 84 Okay May payment na involved So sa ang journal entry to Or, or sa ang special journal to sa ang special journal na rin i-record ng transaction 11, ito ay sa cash disbursements journal. So, cash disbursements journal, <coughs> lagay natin yung date January 11, 2020 check number 84 payee Pay means sino yung babayaran natin? City Arenas. Debit accounts payable. So, magkano ang accounts payable? Niti Arenas. Okay, magkano yung accounts payable na ilalagay natin dito? So, balikan natin yung mga transactions ni Arenas. Meron siyang purchase na 90,000 noong January 3 tapos meron siyang purchase returns na 10,000 so total accounts payable na for payment less returns and discounts kaya kinonsider natin yung purchase returns na nangyari ang total accounts payable na babayaran niya ay 90 minus 10 80 thousand pesos less returns and discounts so pumasok kaya to sa discount period okay tignan natin no ang purchase ay nangyari ng January 3 binayaran siya January 11 and ang discount period kapag purchases ay 3% kapag nabayaran within 10 days. Ito o. Oh. All credit purchases are 3 over 10 and over 30. So, na-avail ni T-Arenas yung discount. Accounts payable, 80,000. So, debit, credit cash. Dito ko lang nalagay yung computation. 80,000 times 97% and yung deb credit purchase discounts, 80,000 times 3%. 80,000 times 97% That is 77,600 
and yung purchase discount ay 2,400 so nilag dito ko lang nilagay yung mga computation ng discount tsaka yung payment ng cash next transaction January 12 purchase discounts for cash 70,000 issued check number 85 so January 12 may cash disbursements na sa transaction 12 yan ay sa cash disbursements journal January 12 2020 85 pay walang binanggit na pay so lagyan na lang natin dito ay cash purchases debit purchases debit purchases 70,000 credit cash 70 Thousand. Total debit must be equal sa total credit. January 13, sold merchandise on account to Amsterdam invoice number 318. Yan ay sa sales journal and yung amount ay 130,000. So, hindi lang siya na ilagal sa January 13. Pero ang amount ng transaction ay 130,000. So, lagay natin date, lagay invoice number, customer name, tsaka yung amount. 130,000 Paid interest on notes payable 10,000 Issued check number 86 Ito ay sa Cash Disbursements Journal Kasi may payment ng cash na involved So anong entry natin dito? Debit Debit, um, interest expense, credit, cash. So, yan ay sa cash disbursements journal. Maghihin natin. January 14, 2020. Check number 886. Ang payin natin ay, naghihin na lang natin ay interest. Wala lamang kasing pangalan. Interest. Debit. Um, interest expense. May interest expense ba dito? Wala. So, ito yung purpose ng account title dito. Kapag wala sa dalawang to, dito natin siya ilalagay. So, lagay natin dito. Interest expense. So, again, ang purpose ng column na to ay para sa mga account other than purchases and accounts payable na ire-record sa cash disbursements <coughs> journal. Ang amount ay 10,000. Credit, cash, 10,000 pesos. 